Hey guys, it's Sam here from Day by Day Vlogs and have I got a special treat for you. Hey guys, it's Sam here from Day by Day Vlogs and have I got a special treat for you. When I take the horses to the riding arena all the time, I have trouble backing up the trailer because I have a backup camera on my truck, but I don't have a backup camera on the trailer. So the good folks at HelloView has sent me a camera that I could hook up to my trailer. I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and I'm gonna go through the steps and how easy this thing is to hook up on your truck, trailer, camper van, anything you need a camera for. Um, the one thing I like about this is that I have a system of two cameras. One I'm going to use for the backup and the other one, which really bothers me, is when I'm driving the horse trailer and I can feel the horse trailer shake and the horses are doing something in there and I'm always paranoid on what they're doing in the back so one of these cameras is gonna be hooked up in the back of the trailer so i can watch the horses while i'm driving or the kids can watch the horses while we're driving so we always know what they're doing in the back if they get loose get into trouble that's awesome system to have so we're going to go through this step by step and how to install this camera system um, right after the unboxing so here we go okay so what i got in the box here is the halview uh, camera system and it comes with all the details on the camera system. All right, let's start with the big box. I always like to start with the big box. Let's get the little boxes out. Packaging. And there you have it. I got the Hamilview 7-inch 720p wireless monitor camera system. The box comes with a uh, sport bracket, a sun shield, angle adjustment screws, a manual power cable center mount bracket, and a camera system. And I believe this is another camera, because uh, I ordered two. And these are, to make my life a little bit simpler, is a, mount, a magnetic mounting bracket. So I don't even have to bolt them. All right, let's check out the box. User manual, camera specifications. This is the, the seven inch monitor. This is the video camera, one of the cameras. And this is to mount it onto your truck, or I'm going to mount it on my truck. And power cord that you plug into the trailer. And we got a lot of other stuff, the antennas. Two antennas, some bolts. Look at the mounting bracket for the truck. Here and then we got the cigarette lighter adapter. I could either hardwire this into the truck or I could use a cigarette lighter adapter. And I'll probably use a cigarette lighter adapter just to make it super simple. Okay, now I'll open this box, which I think is the other camera. And sure enough, it's the other camera. So I can either adjust the camera angle, they give you an Allen key, they give you all the tools you pretty much need. So there you have it. I have everything I need to set up this system. The camera, the two, the two cameras, the seven inch LCD screen, the mountain brackets, the magnets here, which are gonna put on my uh, trailer and I'll take off the cameras during the winter time when I don't use the trailer as often. So I'm gonna read the instructions and we're gonna go right outside and hook this thing up to the truck and the trailer. And we'll show you how that's done. Before we get started, we're going to assemble all these little pieces so that it's ready for the truck. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the um, antennas, attach all the antennas to all the parts, 
and the magnetic bases to these pieces. Comes with a little screen shield so the sun doesn't affect it. You can still see what's going on in your trailer. So another, another thing about this is that I could either um, use this piece to mount it on my window and I might mount it on the underneath the thing or I could use um, this piece and mount it on my truck. It comes with this these hooks and you just bolt it in your truck and I might go with this setup because I have a spot perfect for uh, in my Dodge Ram because there's a spot that has a little indentation and it might fit just perfectly there. So that's where this might go. Now I'll adjust this after I have this in the truck. But right now I'm just getting everything ready. So I don't need this piece because I'm mounting this directly onto the truck. It should sit like that and you'd be able to tilt it any way you desire. Since I'm not going to wire this inside my truck, it gives you this adapter as well as the cigarette lighter, the cigarette lighter system. So this is what I'm going to use for now. And all you really do is you hook up the two ends and they line up. There's a little notch. They line up. And you attach this part to your lighter. And now you can use it in your lighter. Or uh, my truck has a lighter and it also has extra adapters um, for things like that. So that's what I'll be using. So now that I have to go into the trailer and hook up my camera systems, uh, maybe drill a hole or two, um, maybe drill one hole. But anyways, all it is is a red and black wire and you just need to hook that up to the power source on your trailer. Now I'm going to get these cameras set up and um, I'll adjust these once they're, it's all hooked into the trailer. But right now I'm going to get the magnetic bases and put them on for my trailer. Just going to center this on the magnet. Just so that, it, and then I'm going to tighten up the bolts so it's secure. So they also come with these little visors for the sun to help prevent any kind of glare. And they also have these pads that you could use to protect your trailer. I'm going to be uh, removing these from the truck during the winter time. So they come with these cables. It's up into the trailer. And you grab the camera once it's on the trailer and you simply attach it together and it locks together in place so it doesn't come loose. That's pretty much it. And when you want to take off your trailer, put it away for the winter, you unhook it. You take your camera and you put it away. So right now I have a decision to make. I can either put the camera right here. I never use this spot, so I'm thinking that's a great spot for this camera. Um, that way the girls can see it behind me. They can see it behind me or I can put it up by using this, which is way easier. Just peel the tape, stick it on there, and I could put it um, right on the window. I think I'm going to go with this option here. Only because it kind of fits perfect there. I don't even know what this part is for in my truck. It's probably just for putting pens and stuff. It's actually got some holes already there, so I might be able to fit it right in there. Yeah, it might fit in there perfectly. That is where it's going to go. Right there. going to look beautiful. So I picked my spot on the truck. Uh, the little area there, I think it's for pens. I'm not sure exactly what it's for. So I picked that spot and I placed the stand there and I'm going to just, I have uh, two or three metal 
self-tapping screws that I'm just going to screw into the uh, truck. So now that I got my three screws in there to hold it in place, I'm going to hook back the monitor onto the stand. It comes with uh, two tighteners on each side and that allows you to, to tilt the monitor screen any direction you want. To see it where for me it would be just level is fine for me. Okay, so before I get this system hooked up, I have to uh, move the truck to where my trailer is because the power obviously the power supply is coming from your trailer um, and the lights and stuff so. Um, that's where I'll be going now to uh, back up the truck to the trailer just enough so I could use the trailer plug-in. And this one is going to be right here. Now I'm not sure but I might put it in between the last two lights there um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire it up first once I wired it up and then I can figure out where exactly I want it before I drill the hole for that little grommet there so that's my plan so for inside the trailer I'm gonna hook it up right there in the middle that way I can get a view of the horses when they're out and uh, this is a two plus one trailer so I might get an angle where I can see the horse in the plus one spot because uh, this summer we'll be trailing three horses around for trail rides and stuff so that's where it's gonna go and I have a light switch here this is where the power source is gonna be supplied to so I'll have to drill a hole through here and power it up um, through the switch before the before the light switch. So that has a constant power when the trailer's running. I'll tilt the angles once I uh, determine what the angle should be best at and once I have the system running. All right, just to make this installation super simple and easy, I got two clamps for each of the red wires that I'm going to be putting into the power and I'm going to be attaching the ground wires to these and grounding it with metal screws. And that will make it super simple to hook into your trailer. Okay, so first I'm going to drill into the trailer with a three quarter inch drill bit to get an opening. So I can stick the wire through the trailer from the outside. All right, so I got the hole drilled. I'm just gonna shoot this through there, pull it through the other end, and I'm gonna attach the plug. Next, we're going to the inside of the trailer. I'm just gonna take the, uh, cut them off a bit here. I don't need the ends to it. So the black wire is ground, the red wire is power. Now I got, if you want one of these, you can ground it to the trailer. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, so you're gonna, you're gonna ground it and crimp it together. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the power in this line and the power on the other line and crimp it together. All right, so I'm going to put the, this is my power for the light trailer and I'm going to I'll put the one in there and I put the power in here and I'm going to crimp it closed to attach it together.
Next I'm gonna ground the wire. Ground the ground wire. Oh, I'll touch onto this bar. Now oh, that's done. I'll hook this together. Put the wire away in here and we will go try it out. There it is. Uh, I got the power hooked up and the, uh, grounded it. I'm going to go test this thing out. My system came already paired together. Uh, but if you need to pair it, your system up, your camera to the uh, monitor, you'll have to press where I have here, uh, pair it, and you have 20 seconds to get run to the back and press the uh, button on the back of the camera in order to pair it. But my system, again, was already paired, so when I actually um, turned on the right camera, it actually turned on. All right, so I have it set up. Uh, this is camera two. Um, I have it set up with the backup lines. And <clears throat> actually I have it just exact. So the um, red lines are right at the bumper. I mean, I can do it a little bit better, but I like that little extra room for myself. So when I hit the red um, line, I could pretty much out of a foot or two of room left. So that works out for me. Anyway, so that's the backup camera and next we'll do the inside camera. So pretty much what you do is you go to um, you go to menu, you go to pairing, you click pair and then you run back and you click the pair button on the back of the of the uh, camera. This is great because it's got sound, so I, right now I have volume. I can set the volume down if I don't want to hear. For this camera, I can set it to mute or not. I like to have volume for now. That way I know if somebody's yelling, stop, <laughs> maybe the camera's off. Now there's all these other features too. You can uh, brighten up your screen if you want. Uh, you can uh, settings. You can have up to four cameras on this setting and you could also record. Up at the top here is a place where you put your little micro SD card. Uh, I, I set it so that the park line is on camera two because that's where the camera is right now. Uh, but you can set it any way you want. Uh, so I set camera this camera to have the backup lines. Works out really well. And you can also record if you want to record while you're driving. Um, and then you can watch what you want to watch. Yeah, so it worked out pretty good. I'm really happy with this. Now I'm going to hook up the back and we'll see what it looks like with a split screen. Alright, so now I'm inside the trailer and I'm hooking a hole by the light because that's where I'm going to get the power from to run this next camera. So I'm going to set the camera up by the hole and then I'm going to get ready to attach the wires. Put the wire through the hole and the rubber grommet there because I might leave this camera in the trailer all winter long because it's protected by the elements already. Got the camera where I want it. I put the grommet in the hole there so it's protected and all this wire will get shoved in there. Um, and then I can put the light back on once I wired it up. So let's get wiring it up. Here I put a grounding end onto the black wire and I'm going to hook up the uh, red end to the red of the before the switch part. So that it has constant power when the trailer is running. Um, and you can see that red wire there hanging. That's where the, I'm just gonna clamp it using one of those little blue clamps. It makes it super simple to attach wires together.
Then I'm gonna pull this wires through to the other side before I can put the light switch back on. So I'm grounding this uh, black wire to the switch. Um, it's the easiest way to just ground the wire, just to attach it to the switch and screw it into the, and screw the switch clamp it on. Easiest way to do it. Okay, so you have a lot of extra wire here. I'm going to connect the two together so the power goes to the camera and I'm just going to go around and make sure I have power before I uh, put the light back on and hide all the wires. All right, so here we are at the back in the truck to see the camera. Uh, right now I still have it on the backup uh, camera and I'm going to try and select it to the next camera. And like I said again, my, my system was already paired together. So I shouldn't have to pair it. There you go, there's the inside of my trailer. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a horse there I can see and a horse there I can see. I might adjust the camera if I'm uh, transporting three horses because this is a three plus one trailer. And uh, yeah, it's got some good views and I'll have some sound as well. I just noticed way in the top corner here, there's a wireless uh, indicator. It tells me how how good the Wi-Fi is uh, for this particular system. I'm just going to check. Oh, and there we go. There's the split screen. So if I had four cameras, I could see all four of them. And you can actually adjust this the way you want. Uh, I have it set up like that kind of a split split screen, but. You can do all sorts of other kinds of stuff. So there we go. Looking good. So there you have it. Everything's wired up. All right, I'd like to thank Hellaview for sponsoring this video and giving us this camera to use. If you want to get this camera system, then uh, click the link below. It'll take you right to their website where you can uh, purchase the same system I have or if you require more cameras, they have that too. So thanks for watching this video and have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.